Hey guys, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Back at you again with another little interesting question. Uh, Lewis emailed me and he said, Hey, I have a user form, and on it I made a number keypad, so one through, uh, one through nine and a zero also. And also on the user form I have three text boxes, and I want to select any of the three text boxes and then click on the keypad to enter into that selected text box. Any help you can give would be appreciated. So let's let's get started. Let's make a user form. I'm here in uh, the VBA menu. So again, if you're in Excel, all you have to do is hit Alt F11, and voila, here is your code screen, your your Visual Basics menu. So uh, up in here, I'm going to click on a new user form, and there's our new user form. So let's make our three text boxes. So I'm going to uh, Control click, uh, no, excuse me, click and click so here's our three text boxes they start with the default names like text box one text box two text box three I mean that's okay for what we're doing click on the user form and we'll just make it a little bigger I'm just gonna put a really basic number pad so I could select a command button so I've got this one I'm gonna click in here and type the number one for the caption and then I'm gonna control C control V I'm just gonna scooch these uh, just for our example, I'm not going to make 1 through 10 or whatever, uh, 1 all the way to 0. I'm just going to make just these three. And that will be good enough to get anybody who feels like trying this project, get them started. And yeah, there we go. So essentially what we want to do is we want when I click in this text box, I want this number pad to know that when I type a number, it needs to go in this text box. When I click on the third one, let's say, I want uh, Excel to know that when I click number one, it needs to go to this text box and not to this one or this one. So the my idea for doing that, Lewis, was be whenever I click on uh, this particular text box, I'll have a little label, maybe an inv make it invisible or something, in the user form that whenever I um, enter or activate this text box, um, that that will tell that label to say you know text box one and then whenever I click here it'll read the label the current label and tell it where to direct keystrokes or numbers to so let's try that theory so essentially uh, we're gonna double click on text box number one I don't wanna do the change event I wanna do something like uh, the enter event so I'll erase the change thing I don't really care about when it change when the value changes necessarily but when we enter the text box we're gonna, oops, let's make a label. So here's our label, we'll just put it right there. And I'll just erase the current caption of the label, the current text. So right here, we're in the text box one, enter. And the enter event it happens, of course, when you enter that text box. So whenever you uh, select it, tab over to it, click inside it, this this thing happens. So uh, me dot, remember me means the current, um, the current item we're using in this case the user form so this current user form or me dot uh, label one equals um, we'll just say the number one and then we'll do the same thing for this one me dot label one equals two for text box two uh, oh whoops not enter I mean not change uh, we want to do the text box to enter event not change and finally this one text box 3 enter event we're gonna say me dot label 3 or no label 1 equals now 3 so this is gonna take on the value of 3 so whenever I click on 1 I gotta figure out which text box I'm going to so we could do an if then statement if we wanted to so if me dot label one uh, me dot label one equals one, then um, uh, me dot text box one equals itself <clears throat> and another one. So whatever it currently is, let's say it was one two, it would be one. It would equal now one two one, one two one. Uh, so we're gonna try that really quick. And then of course we need an else if me dot label one equals two, 
then uh, if then we're telling it we need to throw this on the text box two me dot text box two is the current one and it equal is going to be equal to itself and the number one and then else uh, well you could do another else if but basically any other scenario we're going to throw it over to text box three so me dot text box three equals itself uh, and oops tab uh, and percent and the number one and then of course our end if and let's try that out so let's click here and hit the play button so let's see I'm gonna click here oh you notice it says two right there because whenever we enter into one of these the label changes to whatever one we so now Excel or the user form knows exactly which one it needs to throw this number one onto so if I click here it said text box three uh, because this is label is number three so me dot text box three equals itself plus the number one or uh, and another one so if I click it again it's going to be equal to itself plus another one at the end click 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 and then we haven't programmed these two buttons yet I click here I click here yeah so that's how I would do that and then so essentially you could just take this and kind of just copy it over so paste only we're gonna add the number two because that's what the current button we're doing is and then we'll paste that in the uh, other thing here well, this, will, this is the number three and let's try that out oops I didn't mean hit pause okay we're gonna try it. so click on label two and we're gonna do two three one and we're gonna click here and do one two two and then you could put a period or a slash or whatever you wanted to put in there and it knows which label now if you're putting this into production you probably don't want people to know what's going on in the background so that you don't want them to see that three they're like what's this all about well it's just an internal thing to help me make it work so alt f11 and what we can do is this label here we're just gonna say uh, in the properties window is it visible is visible true no double click we're gonna make this to be invisible but it's still doing the actions so it's still making this two or three or one and it still allows this, the code to work it's just that it's not necessarily something that people need to see or need to know how or why it is working it's just working so uh, that's how I would do that, Lewis, and thank you so much for uh, everybody for checking this out. Be sure and download a copy of this uh, workbook. I'll go ahead and save it. Uh, remember, whenever you save an Excel or a macro-enabled workbook, you need to do XLSM or .XLSB if you want it to be uh, binary. But essentially, you just give it a name. Uh, we're going to throw this on my Dropbox so that anybody who anybody who wants let's see where's my shared workbooks you can actually click on the link in the video description and you can go to my uh, uh, Excel shared workbooks and you can download this book right now it's going to be called what are we gonna call this user form um, number pad on three text boxes okay be sure and uh, get your free copy of that on the Dropbox link. Uh, check out ExcelVBAisFun.com. And be sure to like, share, and or subscribe uh, if you haven't already for more good stuff. Also, uh, check out our Ultimate Excel uh, Programmers course if you want to learn the full skinny on uh, becoming an Excel programmer in VBA. You do all kinds of stuff from uh, workbook automation to even uh, doing stuff with files and uh, pretty much anything you can imagine you can double triple your workload if you work in Excel uh, because you can automate stuff create custom reports um, analyze data uh, pretty powerfully in any way you feel like so anyway check that out anyway thanks for watching God bless guys